G'day everyone, how you going? Welcome to the tutorial for Better Days by Pete Murray. Before we get into this video, just make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any tutorial requests, just leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, do all that sort of stuff. All the support that I've been getting recently has been so amazing and I'm so thankful for everyone out there who's been subscribing, liking the videos, leaving comments, all of that stuff. Is, it means a lot to me, so I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, let's just jump into this tutorial. It's a pretty easy one, so let's do it. Basically, what we've got is just an F chord, a C chord, an E minor, and an A minor. They're the only four chords in the song. Um, so the verse, F, C, E minor, A minor. Picking pattern is a little bit odd, though. Or strumming pattern sorry I don't really know what it is but you just sort of make it work to sound, to suit the song it's a sort of a what we've got in there in the verses on the F chord strum one down then you take your middle finger off the second fret relative to the capo of the G string. Strum that once, so. Then you strum up and hammer back on, so. And then on the last up strum, you take it off again into the C. Into the E minor. A minor, you do the same thing. There's also a hammer on on the C, I think, or at least that's how I play it. Um, what was the strumming pattern overall? Down, down, up, up, down, up. That, that was it. Then into the C. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then, so that's the strumming pattern, took me ages to figure that out, but there it is. That's repeated a heap of times, just that same progression. On the last chord of the verse, which is E minor, it's just down strums building in uh, intensity. So like a... Till I can know my friends. Like that. Into the chorus, which sounds like... So, progression, C, E minor, A minor, F. Strumming pattern, literally one stroke of the um, C. So, C, open, and then E minor into the up. So, down, down, up. Hopefully that makes sense, I'm not really sure if it does. Um, there's no real pull-offs or hammer-ons in the chorus, it's just sort of pretty simple I would say. What am I forgetting? I think at the third verse, or actually no, there's like a cello solo or something in there. That's just the verse chords over again. Anyway, then there's, I think it's verse number three, or verse number two, after that solo, where he goes, And I have just started, and I won't be done till the end. So it's like two bars of just a single strum of each chord. It's the same progression as the verse. 
played real soft and just like this. Then on the A minor, then you, you strum it once, take this finger off, which was second fret of the D string, take that off, strum that once into the F. So it's like. Then play that through again once, and then just back to normal strumming of the verse. Then there's a chorus. Then there's the outro section, which is just. No, no. strummed over and over again and then to finish you end on an F just like that and then that's the end of the song so thanks for watching everyone I hope this video wasn't too shabby and I explained everything clear enough um, there is a chord list out there as well for this that I'll attach below so make sure you check that out. It's not that helpful, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on. So yeah, cheers for watching, like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you soon.